हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सराज उल्क फैजी आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सॉलिड स्टेट्स यू नो फ्रेंड्स मैटर क्लासीफिकेशन गैसेस लिक्विड्स एंड लिक्विड्स क्रिस्टल्स एंड सॉलिड्स यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर द सिचुएशन ऑफ गैसेस लिक्विड्स एंड सॉलिड्स सो सॉलिड मटेरियल्स आर फर्दर क्लासीफाइड क्रिस्टलाइन पॉली क्रिस्टलाइन एमॉर्फस नॉन क्रिस्टलाइन एंड सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स सो यू कैन सी हियर इन पिक्चर सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स पॉली क्रिस्टल यू कैन सी एंड एमॉर्फस नाउ फ्रेंड्स सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स हैव ए पीरोडिक एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर अक्रॉस इट्स होल वॉल ए लॉन्ग रेंज लेंथ स्केल्स ईच एटम इज रिलेटेड टू एवरी अदर इक्वेलेंट एटम इन द स्ट्रक्चर बाय ट्रांसलेशनल और रोटेशनल सिमेट्री यू कैन सी सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स सिंगल पायराइड क्रिस्टल और एमॉर्फस सॉलिड पॉली क्रिस्टलाइन सॉलिड पॉली क्रिस्टलाइन मेटेरियल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ एन एग्रीगेट ऑफ मैनी स्मॉल सिंगल क्रिस्टल ऑल्सो कॉल क्रिस्टलाइटिस और ग्रेन्स पॉली क्रिस्टलाइन मेटेरियल्स हैव ए हाई डिग्री ऑफ ऑर्डर ओवर मेनी एटॉमिक or molecular dimensions grains or domains are separated by grains boundaries the atomic order can vary from one domain to the next the grains are usually 100 nanometer or 100 microns in diameter polycrystal with grains less than 10 nanometer in diameter are nano crystalline so polycrystalline pyrite form grains you can see the grains boundary now friends amorphous solids amorphous non crystalline solid are made up of randomly oriented atoms ions or molecules that do not form defined pattern or lattice structure amorphous materials have order only within a few atomic or molecular dimensions we know that we also know that amorphous materials do not have any long range order but they have varying degrees of short range order example to amorphous materials include amorphous silicons plastics and glasses amorphous silicons can be used in solar cells and thin film transistors so in picture you can see the arrangement of it now symmetry elements in cubic crystal i am focusing on cubic crystal so just keep in your mind first center of symmetry plane of symmetry and axis of symmetry so you can see here center of symmetry of a cubic crystal now the nine plane symmetries of the cube you can see 1 2 3 and then diagonal 1 2 3 3 and then you can see so total nine plane of symmetry of the cube you can see here the axis now definitions of unit cells the smallest repeat unit of a crystal structure in 3d which shows the full symmetry of the structure the unit cell is a box 
with three sides a b c and three angles alpha beta and gamma so typical crystal structures 3d forty bravis lattice n7 crystal system cubic crystal system sc so p bcc fcc hexagonal crystal system simple cubic or p triclinic crystal system simple cubic or primitive monoclinic crystal system simple cubic primitive base c orthorhombic crystal system simple cubic or p base c bc or fc tetragonal crystal system sc or p or bc diagonal rhombohedral crystal system sc or p now you can see in pictures cubic three types p i f tetragonal p i orthorhombic p i f and c c f o center hexagonal triagonal only p only p monoclinic p and c and triclinic only p so p for primitive i for body center a for face center c for side center centered side center seven crystal system now you can count 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 Fourteen Bravis lattice. Three common unit cell in 3D: simple cubic SC, BCC, and FCC. So types of cubic cell: unit cell content, which is represented by Z, atomic radius, and packing fractions. P, unit cell content one, atomic radius A by two. packing fraction 52.36% i unit cell content 2 a root 2 divided by 4 67.98% packing fraction fcc unit cell content 4 atomic radius a root 3 divided by 4 74.00% now friends coordination number in cubic lattices simple cubic lattice or primitive it is represented by p face centered cubic lattice fcc body centered cubic lattice bcc or i density of a substance d is equal to mass in unit cell divided by volume of unit cell n into atomic weight divided by ogd number x volume of unit cell where n is equal to number of particles in unit cells lattice planes or crystal planes and miller indices you know friends miller gave the method to specify planes used in integers hkl and enclosed them in a parenthesis like hkl to determine the miller indices the intercept by the given plane on x y and z axis pa qb rc are determined So P minus one, Q minus one, R minus one is equal to H K L. The lattice plane then will be H K L, and a spacing is given by D is equal to A divided by root under H square plus K square plus L square. Now crystallography. Crystallography is a branch of science that deals with the geometrical descriptions of crystals. and their internal atomic arrangement it's important the symmetry of crystals because it has profound influence on its properties a structure should be classified into different types according to the symmetries they possesses energy bands can be calculated when the structure has been determined now for miller indices equivalent directions equivalent direction due to crystal symmetry 1 1 0 0 2 0 1 0 and 3 0 0 1 this is so notation 1 0 0 used to denote all directions equivalent to 1 0 0 
the intercept of crystal plane with axis defined by a set of unit vectors are at 2a, 3b and 4c. Find the corresponding Miller indices of this and all other crystal plane parallel to this plane. The Miller indices are obtained in the following three steps. Identify the intersections with the axis namely 2, 3 and 4. Calculate the inverse of each of those intercepts resulting in 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. Find the smallest integers proportional to the inverse of the intercept multiplying each fraction with the product of each of the intercept. So 24 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4. Thus result in integers but not always the smallest integers. These are obtained in this case by multiplying each fraction by 12. So 6, 4, 3. Resulting Miller indices is negative index indicated by a bar on top. Now Miller indices of planes you can see in this picture. Determine the intercept of plane with each axis x, a, y infinitive and z infinitive. Invert the intercept value 1 by a, 1 by infinitive, 1 by infinitive. Convert to the smallest integer 1, 0, 0. Enclose the number in round brackets 1, 0, 0. Miller indices of plane you can see in this determine the intercept of plane with each axis x to a y to a and z to a invert the intercept values 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 a convert to the smallest integer 1 1 1 and close the number in the round bottom, uh, round brackets 1 1 1 now plane with negative indices so determine the intercept of plane with each axis x a y minus a z a invert the intercept value 1 by a minus 1 by a 1 by a convert to the smallest integer 1 minus 1 1 enclose the number in round brackets 1 1 cap 1 now friends close packing in crystals a square packed structure hexagonal packed structure you can see so layer stacking sequence SCP, A sites, B sites and A sites. So AB, AB. In FCC, ABC, ABC. So friends, a structure of ionic substances have been close packed lattices. In ionic compounds, one type of the ions, cation or anion, form the close packing structure whereas the second type of ion occupy the voids as mentioned. Sodium colloid compounds, ions forming close packing structure, chloride ions form CCP structure, ions in white sodium plus ions occupy all octahedral voids. Zinc sulfide, sulfur ions form CCP structure, zinc 2 plus ion occupied alternate tetrahedral voids. F3O4 or FeO, FeTO3, oxygen ions forms close packing packed structure, Fe2 plus ions are in octahedral voids, Fe3 plus ions are in equal number of octahedral and tetrahedral voids. Now factor affecting coordination number, cation anion ratio, range of R plus R minus 0 0.155 to 0 0.225. Coordination number of cation in the crystal lattice 3. Arrangement of anion around the cation in the crystal lattice or geometry planar trigonal. Example B2O3 or BN. If 4 then tetrahedral zinc sulfide zinc oxide. If 6 octahedral sodium chloride, silver chloride, fluoride or bromide. Cubic cesium chloride and cesium bromide. The arrangement of anions around the cation, nature of the voids occupied by the cations in close packed structure made by anions. Now friends hope this video will be helpful to you. If you like this video then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.